Hi everyone, Claire Rogers here. We are at the Pink Dipper in North Augusta, about 10 minutes from Augusta National. And we're starting a new series today called The Scoop, where I get ice cream and chat with various people in the world of golf. So we have our first guest today and I'm very excited about it. Uh, what ice cream do you think your guest is gonna get? Ooh, I could see you're doing like a rocky road. That's, I think that's peanut butter, chocolate chip with a vanilla base. I feel like she will get something fun like that. All right, Jenna, what did you go with? I got cake batter and rainbow sprinkles. Are you a big ice cream gal or? You know, I have been on a kick of like Ben and Jerry's. Okay. But I'm a donut, cupcake, yeah. cake, cake yeah. girl. But ice cream is my like version of donuts for you. I think really? like I love Okay, ice that cream. makes sense. This yeah, is yeah. your idea. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we'll do Chrissy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, everyone. I am here with Jenna Sims, and we we're going to ask her some questions about this week and Brooks and Netflix and just all that good stuff. So, yeah. all right, so I just asked you about Netflix. Yes. So you watched your episode. I <laughs> did. We watch a ton of reality TV. Mm -hmm. And right when our episode came out, we were like, or when the whole series came out, we were just like, just watch ours really quick. And then I think we were going on, a, on the road trip to some tournament. Yeah. So haven't watched the rest, but I'm going to. Well, what did you think of yours? I thought the editing was it fit a certain narrative that they wanted to portray us as. Mm -hmm. um, if we were to do season two, it would be just done a little bit differently. Okay. We saw <laughs> this more vulnerable side of Brooks that we mm -hmm. hadn't seen, and that was kind of cool for us, mm -hmm. just be, uh, us being people who work in golf and follow mm -hmm. very closely. Mm -hmm. Watching that back, what was your, and maybe Brooks's reaction to seeing that softer side kind of in public display? I think that was probably the positive mm -hmm. of our episode because he really is a vulnerable person. Mm -hmm. Like, he's emotionally intelligent. I think that the world kind of views him as just this tough guy with a chip on his shoulder. And Netflix really like opened up his heart. That was a really tough time for him. Yeah. He couldn't figure out his swing. He was still recovering from his injuries. He's come such a long way since then. So I hope we get to do it again and just show the growth that he's experienced since our episode that was going to be my next question so he <laughs> just won in orlando no. and second live win what has it been like for both of you kind of going from you know these injuries and this more difficult time to mm -hmm. having to climb back up after you know he already had four majors and all this stuff there have been a lot of like major life events to happen People always want to place blame, like, oh, so-and-so just got married, or so-and-so just had a baby, like, he's never going to win again. It's like the golfer's curse mm -hmm. or something. So people want to just place blame because we literally built a house. We got married. We're, you know, we're trying for family and, like, all of these things. So there's a lot of things, like, people just want to place the blame on. But I think injury was the, the actual issue. Like, he hurt he had knee surgery, like, a month before the Masters last year when we were filming. So you guys met for the first time at Augusta, right? We did. So I've had a lot of crap for telling the world that I slid under his DM. Why? Because it's like I went after him, you know. People like to just skip to judgments about mm -hmm. that, but Brooks... He's special. He's got no game. Like, he would never come up to me in a bar. <laughs> I slid into his DMs in 2015. Okay. We were chatting for a couple months because mm -hmm. the season was in full swing. <laughs> and um, I'm from here, so I mm -hmm. had a friend who had master's tickets. And I was like, I just told Brooks, I was like, I'm going to be here if, you know, this will be a great opportunity for us to meet. So I guess I made the first two moves. Was this that you switched to texting at this point? Or yeah. were you still damn it? We okay. had taken it off Instagram. <laughs> and I think it was the Thursday round. Okay. And I was there and I found him and he spotted me. He, this was during the tournament play between holes seven and eight, which I forgot. Like at the time, I didn't know where I was. I right. was like, my friend was telling me where to go. He reached over the ropes and like hugged me. And even the crowd around me was like, oh, who is my God. She? Yeah. And who is she? And I can't believe he just stopped the tournament play yeah. to meet you. Yeah. And then that night, this is crazy, I met his entire family. Oh, my God. We weren't even dating. That yeah. was our first interaction. Yeah. But he was like, I would love to, like, take you to dinner. However, I'm at a home, and Jonas Flix was staying with him. <laughs> And his whole entire family, oh Trey, gosh. his college football coach. Uh -huh. I met all the important people in his life on our first date. I love that. Yeah. So when you come back here, does that always come up for you two or not yeah. really? Yeah. <laughs> no, he'll look me in the eye and he's like, I cannot believe like 
we're married now. Yeah. And you literally <laughs> slid into my DMs. But you know what? I have talked to a couple other girls. I'm not going to throw anyone under the yeah. bus, but some of the women who are married to top five, top ten players in the world, who the women slid into, they're also husbands DMs. I'm just the only one that talks yeah. about public. This is inspiring girls, because if you're listening to Oh, this, I tell all my girlfriends, you have to, sometimes you have to make the first move, because, I mean, chivalry is not dead. Brooks is an absolute gentleman. He is right. amazing. But he just needed a little nudge. Like... Guys aren't going to come beat your door down. Sometimes yeah. you got to make the first move. <laughs> so what should they say? I think if I were single today, I would tell girls to just respond to a story. Yeah. Because then it, like, you know, be clever, be funny. Don't just say hey or don't just do, like, the hard eyes. Yeah. Like, actually respond to a story and make it to where they have to respond. Like, yeah. ask a question or be like... Something like give them crap about something. Yeah, guys yeah. love it when you like give them a hard time about something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a chef with you guys this we week? Do. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what what will be on the menu? The go tos. Noji is amazing. She's one of my closest friends now. Mm-hmm. She is brilliant. So she made me a grilled cheese for lunch today, but amazing. that's not what Brooks is going to be <laughs> eating. She does. Um, very healthy, like high protein. Like we had steak and Brussels sprouts and like roasted potatoes last night. It's very healthy, but it's so flavorful. Yeah. Flavorful. We'll be doing the part three tomorrow on Wednesday, right? Mm-hmm. Is that a fun tradition? Is that one of your favorite yeah, things? Yeah, so I'm kind of cursed actually. It's really funny. So the very first year, well, I met Brooks. I'm not going to count that year. Okay. The first year we were dating, mm-hmm. his mom did it, which is totally amazing and fine and fair. It was her turn in life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so Denise did it the first year. The second year, it got rained out, mm. so there was no par three. Then it was like COVID year, so oh, they didn't wow. do it. And last year, it was like, oh, it's finally my turn. It was, I've been shafted for like four or five yeah. years. I started it, and then it started thundering and lightning, so I only made it about halfway through. So I've never actually done it. So hopefully tomorrow, tomorrow will be my be first day. official. <laughs> so are you excited for that? Yeah. That'll be really I am. Fun. I am. I'm actually filming something fun for Sports Illustrated, mm-hmm. swimsuit for that. So get a little BTS for everybody. Awesome. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. great. Well, Jenna, thank you so much. Oh, thank this you. This has been so fun. Yeah. This is coming out on golf.com. We're going to put it on our socials, on YouTube, so we're really excited about it. Our first guest on the scoop, Jenna Oh, I'm honored. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>